morning, everyone. I feel I attend a wrong summit because everyone talking about the capitals, how to make money. I'm thinking about how to really drive the open innovation, to try to create more technologies which can help the climate change. So I would love to report a little bit about our view. In technology point of view, how can we help this to help the sustainable future through open innovation? Everyone is talking about that. I will skip that because sustainability is very important here. Gathered in a lot of people with the family money. Right? Family money means you want to last longer. So the earth sustainability is really matter to the family money. Please invest more in the renewable energy. So <clears throat> usually, in the ocean days, people have energy trans transitions. We only can burn the uh, can burn the energy is, is around our family, around our society, our village. Now, uh, based on the transmissions, we can go far away. So with uh, energy storage, it means we can also overship the storage from the morning, and we can use the energy in the night time. So we are free to move the energy in timing, not only in the space. So today, to, we, uh, we really, another thing is important is the recycle, is the circulating economics. For example, everyone now talk about the solar energies, solar batteries. Anyone studying how to recycle this solar, battery, solar cell? Everyone investing in the wind turbine. So people think about recycle this wind turbine. And in the future, to create the new things for sustainability. But for CHL, we definitely have a little bit practice on the battery storage. We recycle the battery, and we wish to recycle the battery because economically it is good. So, I should try to present a little bit about this uh, practice. We keep invest a lot of money in R&D. The reason is we believe that only the technology can help. If you cannot reduce the solar cells price, from 100% to now 5%, you cannot really create the really good energy, uh, electricity with the affordable cost. So Seattle practice is heavily on R&D. Look at our talent. We have more than 20,000 talents only focus R&D on the technology. More efficient, safety, reliable, affordable, and recycled, circulable. That's why we have almost 30,000 patterns, uh, increase every year more than 15,000 patterns. So some of the products we create, we try to do some propaganda here, okay? We have the very fast charge batteries, we call 10 minutes for 400 kilometers. Because of people, when you drive EV, you always worry about slow charging, you cannot get enough energy, cannot have enough things, only about the waiting time. 10 minutes, 400 kilometers. And filling battery is a big range, long range. One charge can over the 1,000 kilometers range. Then condensed battery is very expensive a little bit now, but it's very good for aviation because almost double energy density than today's battery available on the car. For energy generation, as we discussed, many speakers talk about this. Whatever, we need an energy storage system. It's a 15 thousand cycles for a single battery, more than 20 years. Why 20 years? Because the 20 years is the same life as the solar cell. That's why you no need to replace anything during the whole lifetime, which can really make each every storage economically affordable. So, how CHO doing this? Because we are trying to solve the problem, we are the one of the problem, as everyone talk about this. So we are practices, we try to do ourselves first. Start from me, start from us. So 2025, we want to really make a carbon net zero, carbon neutrality for our core operations. And 2035 is the whole value trend. So how can we do that? Where to start to do that? So our practice is, we start from our factory. How can we make it zero carbon factory? So now, we already have practice, we have four factories already 
zero carbon factories. And our recycle already recycled 100,000 tons of waste battery last year and recreate the lithium carbonate 13,000 tons. When the lithium carbonate is higher price, it makes a good profit. But if it's a lower price, as lower as around 10,000 US dollars per ton, we still can profit the profitable. That means your recycle has to be very smart. Recycle technology has to be very good. You can recycle the, you can save the lithium about 90%. You can save the nickel, cobalt, manganese 99.3%. So in lead, you can really have a circular business. You don't worry about mining everywhere after several years, maybe 10 to 15 years. So zero carbon factory, we always think if we can make a factory zero carbon, why we cannot make a small society? Why can we cannot make a small island? Why we cannot extend it to a city? The most important people say that not only the technology of the hardware, the very important is the technology of the software. So you need to digitalize the all the energy creating, consumption, and how to smartly, wisely to manage the energy to become like a virtual power plant to help to reduce the carbon. Also, importantly, to make sure economically better than only connecting to the grid. So resilience, everything. Another way is uh, we are doing our practice is we're making a free lighthouse factory in this industry. So free lighthouse means what? If your battery is not good enough, it will cause fire. If your battery is not good enough, it is not reliable. You cannot last any longer. So everything is a problem economically and uh, people with are watching that. People watching that, is this new technology reliable or not? That's why we try to improve the different rate from PPM to PPB, different parts per billion, rather than different parts per million. Many of people here may not familiar with the Six Sigma because it's the industry people doing. So Six Sigma usually driving the different rate down to PPM level. We call it different parts per million. But why we need to go to the different parts per billion? Because when a battery put into a car, still okay, the car. For example, 100 battery in series, the may voltage 400 watts. Then this car is driving. The think about a million car times 100 batteries is 100 million. So 10 million car times 100 is 1 billion. So if we can make good battery initially and later on, in the fuel of the car. We can reduce the fire or instance from the car safety. 10 million car, one out of 10 million car. People think about that current internal combustion gas engine. The car burning is somehow like 10,000, one out of 10,000. So EV not only can be better on the emissions, can be better in the safety. How much better? 1,000 times better. So think about that. But another problem is energy storage. Energy storage is very complicated. People say it's so easy, but it's very complicated. The reason is one gigawatt hour energy storage system it contains 1.5 million battery cells. So in that case, if your quality control level is only million, you have big trouble because every energy storage system, you have different battery inside. That's why we have to make any effort to make sure from PPM go to PPP. In that case, you can tackle the problem of the warning, of the problem of the energy storage, especially very big energy storage systems. That's why to making a good battery, reliable battery, safety battery, and a cost-effective battery is very difficult. We need a lot of support, most important, a lot of technology to achieve this. I already talked about the recycle. I will skip this slide. But why important? Because when you design a product, whenever for this climate change products, technology products, when all the investors here want to invest a project, probably need to ask another question. 
this product can be recycled or not when you do the design. If this product, when you do the design, is not good for the recycle, not good for the circular economics, it should not be a very good target for us to invest. That's the important things we think about this. Because for the whole earth, if you keep doing mining, it will be end. So we need a, everything can be recycled. This has to be in the mind when you set up a project, when you R&D define a product, when you design a product, you design a process, all this keep in mind. Then people say that this recycle is another design because you recycle, you cause a lot of problems. You have uh, maybe impact a lot in your environment, impact a lot of pollutions. So recycle, design or recycle process and to recreate the materials is another challenge. So many challenges here because we saw that everyone already talked about like climate change, especially problem, the global and geopolitical issues. We have a lot of technology in China now about the solar cell, about the storage batteries, but it's very, very difficult to really, you know, use this to fast accelerate the decarbonate the efforts more well. So people a little bit concerned too much about the profit, short-term profit they make, they invest, or short-term profit they have. So we have to work together. Otherwise, we can produce very cost-effective products, but uh, some other people don't want to use that because they want to protect their own industries, which is a problem of uh, whenever climate change. So that's why we need to unite. We need to make sure how to use this technology. That's why we think about uh, some of the think about some of the efforts we call definitely internal, external, open innovation. And we share our technology to different people. For example, we're doing this LIS model, license loyalty service model with American customers. We're using this technology to also help the battery makers, even the battery makers, so-called our competitors in Europe. So we're also willing to do this with people who want to make a good battery in their region. So we through this commercial technology arrangement, we want to share the efforts, to share our results, to make sure to help to speed up the people how to defend this climate change. Basically, that's all my presentation. But we really showed our ability, our willingness to share the technology to all the people who want to make the battery in the region. The only reason is we want to speak up. We don't have the time to wait as everyone worry about that.